What is up guys, it is Lynx, welcome back to another Destiny video. Today I'm going to be going over my trial setup for my Sunsinger Warlock. Now in trials, when I do use my Warlock, I always run Sunsinger just because of how crucial the self res is. It could be the difference between winning and losing the game. Now first, let's talk about the grenades. Now the grenades are the only thing, in my opinion, that are up to you. The two to pick from are either the Firebolt or the Fusion Grenade. I personally run Firebolt grenades. Oh my god! But that's just me. Now depending on what grenade you use will influence what armor you use, but I will get into that when we talk about the armor. Now let's talk about the jump. You want to use the focused burst. This allows you to use that burst to have a better chance of evading your enemies around corners and just for escaping. For the super, you of course want to use Fireborn. I mean, if you're not using that, you may as well switch to Voidwalker. The self res is the main key to what makes the Sunsinger so important in Trials. Now, like I said before, the self res could literally save you the game. Now, for the melee, the obvious choice is Flame Shield. It actually doubles your health if you hit an enemy while your melee is charged. Now, the other two are pointless. I mean, knocking them back, why would you want to do that? When you're meleeing them, you're trying to get into close quarters, and then the last one is causes them to explode, and that's pretty stupid as well. Now, for the fifth column of perks, I chose the Arcane Force, just because when I have this, my stats are pretty equal. Honestly, I don't really worry about those too much, but when I have it like this, as I said, they are equal. For the sixth column, you want to have Viking Funeral equipped. This perk, along with Touch of Flame, makes you a walking thorn. If you hit your enemies with a firebolt grenade, it will light them on fire and they will periodically take the 7 damage just like the thorn does. In the next slot, I use Ancestor Order just to keep my stats pretty close to even, and then the last perk I use is Touch of Flame just so that my grenades light my enemies on fire. Now for armor, I try to stay around the Discipline Intellect gear, but my Warlock still needs a little bit of work. Now like I said earlier, depending on what grenade you use influences what kind of armor you should pick. Now this is for the chest pieces. When I run Firebolt Grenade, I use the Void Fang Vestment because it gives me a grenade every time I spawn. But if I'm using the Fusion Grenades, I run the Starfire Protocol because it allows me to carry two Fusion Grenades. Now for the guns. In the primary slot, I always run the Hand Cannons, either the Thorn or the Last Word. Pretty much because those two Hand Cannons run the Crucible for now. If you don't use those guns, you're kind of at a disadvantage already. Then for my secondary, I either use the Matador for close range or Her Benevolence if it's more of a longer range map. For my heavy, I use the Dream Waker Rocket Launcher because if you don't use a Rocket Launcher, you pretty much already lost the heavy round. Now before I wrap this up, if you take one thing away from this video, do not ever use your self res on heavy round because all it takes is one rocket and you've just wasted your super. Save your self res when you actually have a chance to help out your team. Other than that guys, that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you want to see more Destiny videos, like this one. Don't forget to subscribe for anything and everything Destiny. This has been Lynx. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.